Lord in heaven. Okay. Oh boy. Big bees outside the window too. So y'all think this is probably real sugar. It's not real sugar. Okay. I have two recipes I'm creating. I thought about um, how Jerry always has his little treats. So I'm going to do a peanut butter and jelly granola bar. And I have been seeing all over the internet this coffee whip. And I don't know if any of you guys have seen this coffee whip, but here's what you could do. Yikes. There are two ways you could do this. And I had to translate it into um, the American conversion. So one third cup of instant coffee granules. Okay, so I had to go out and buy these because I don't have instant coffee granules. And in the recipe, it calls for one cup of sugar. Well, we have goals. <laughs> Having that sugar is not one of them. So what the lady did was she said you could do it with a sugar alternative such as monk fruit. It's three ingredients literally three ingredients. So this is going to be recipe number one. The third ingredient is ice cold water, or you could do it with almond milk. So I'm going to put in here and I want you to be able to see it, but we're going to have to, to cope. So a third cup of instant coffee granules, one cup I'm using it's a, I'm doing two things, Ella. I'm creating today. This is not a creation. This is something I've seen and I have to try the recipe. So it's a coffee whip and it has three, three ingredients because we've been out of work for a while. So I can't, I can't. Yes. Yes, Ella. So I'm going to, it's 130, 160 milliliters of ice cold water. So I have my ice cold water and I'm going to measure it out minus that ice cube that fell. And let's take out that ice cube and make sure that's right. Yep. So it ends up being three quarters of a cup of water. All right, Ella, we're going to try this out. And you got to let it whip. Now the next, it's so aromatic. <laughs> so that's supposed to get super duper whippy. And I want you to see it. It really is. Holy cow, it is. What? That is crazy. Oh, that's whipping. That's whipping. Let's just stop it for a second. Let's just stop that for a second because that is bizarre. So right now, it is taking on a foam. It smells absolutely amazing. While that's whipping, this is going to be recipe number two. I know, Ella, we got to do, we got to have our own test kitchen, Ella. I have strawberries cooking on the stove and they're going to, I'm going to turn it up a little bit. And, and just two pounds of strawberries with, Ella, wait till you see, two pounds of strawberries with a half a cup of water. That's going to be the topping. You ready? You ready, Ella? Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I am in awe. I am in awe. Now hang on because you all know I got to try that, right? That is ridiculous. Sometimes you just got to try things in order to see if it works. 
All right, so I'm going to put you guys back in the, the tripod. Because all good kids stay in a tripod. Okay. Holy, look at that. Look at that. That's like frosting. That's like frosting. Ella, that's amazing. Now, personally, I want to put more monk fruit in it because it's not sweet enough. Mmm. And I'm gonna. I am gonna do another half a cup. I'll never sell this on Jerry. Ever. So I'm saying one and a half cups of of monk fruit. Me personally, I like that really rich coffee flavor. This is ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. Jerry, come see this. I feel like a kid in a candy store. Like that is amazing. It literally took under five minutes to get this whole recipe together. And the video that I watched, she left it out on the counter. Look at that. Look at that. This has no calories in it. <laughs> it's coffee granules and monk fruit and water. That's better. Oh my God. That's amazing. So I'm gonna move that over. <laughs> I'm gonna move that over because I could eat the whole thing. So let's move this. All right, now we're gonna make, so Ella, I wish you were here. Oh my God, that was so amazing. Jerry, that is so good. Okay. So now we're going to move on to Jerry's creation. That was so good. I'm going to sit down. You could have a bowl of that, guys. The strawberries are going to cook down. So here's what my thought was. I was talking to a friend the other day, and she said she made Pop-Tarts. And she talked about butter, and she talked about all these really bad things I don't want to give Jerry. So last week, he had cookies. Let me tell you, Ella, I'll send you the video. I was watching it. Mm, don't tell anybody. I was watching it on the way to the grocery store because I was like, and this is what I wrote the directions down on. So I had to convert it when I got home. So Ella, you need some instant coffee? I got a lot. Um, so the ice water, that, I mean, oh my God, and you put it in your coffee. How much better can that be? So now here is what I wanted to do. Okay. So Jerry lives on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, right? So I wanted to clean up a treat for him. And I wanted to make him something that was going to be delish. So I thought, why not peanut butter and jelly oat bars? Right? I mean, it can't be bad. So there's going to be no sugar or substitute in the strawberries. And I wanted the strawberries to stay whole. So they're berry shaped. But when they cook, they'll have like a texture to them. They won't just be mush. That's my thought anyways. So I honestly don't even know how much I want to do. Um, I do know I'm not using his regular peanut butter. I brought... I, I didn't brought, I bought, again with the English, I bought um, all natural peanut butter. It was $1.99 on special at Price Right. It's just peanuts and salt, oats. But to this, I am gonna add some monk fruit. I only buy the monk fruit, my God, guys, I'm so hot, I gotta take my socks off. <laughs> but I can't touch them because my hands are clean. Okay, so let's spray this pan. I'm not going to, um, I'm not gonna pre-bake this. 
because I've already had a lot of issues with pre-baking. So we're not doing that. But I am thinking that I want to start off with, I'm, this is 16 ounces. I am going to do a cup. So I'm going to do half of this jar of peanut butter because Jerry knows how to make things last. I don't. Okay. I'm not going to lick it because when I lick peanut butter, it is all downhill from there. And there's some on my finger and I am not lying to you. If I lick that peanut butter, all bets are off. All right, so y'all remembering, right? Eight ounces of peanut butter, because I'm not writing it down. We are going to do a half a cup of monk fruit. Yes, this is not a half a cup, but listen, y'all, I got to wash these dishes. Half a cup of monk fruit. Now, I'm going to try two cups of oats. <laughs> Possibly two and a half cups, because there's some spilling over. But we're going to call it two cups. Okay, if it's too loose, I'm just going to add a little more peanut butter. And I might need some water. I'm kind of liking the way it looks. And I am going to use some water, to be honest with you. Because, oh, let's keep the ice. Because I knew that would happen. I need a pen. I need a pen. I'm going to forget. All right. All right. It's not that many ingredients, right? I should be able to remember this. Half a cup of water. Ready? Nope. We need another half. Another half a cup, please. So it's going to be a whole cup of water. It's how we create, right? This is how we do it. All right, that's so much better. Because there's a big clump in there. Big clump. Get it in, get it in, get it in. Because I want it to be like peanut butter and jelly. expectations I don't know what I'm looking for <laughs> I have no idea I just know I want it to be peanut butter and jelly that's what Jerry loves right so you got to be good to the man because he's going out there every day and working and I on the other hand am working from home which is freaking killing me right I'm a social person well, since I lost weight, I'm a social person. I'm not, I have not always been a social person. Okay. Holy peanut butter. Holy peanut butter. So we're going to drop this crust type thought into the bottom of the pan. And we're going to hope that it goes all over the pan. Because we are going to social distance visit my daughter. Our daughter. I always take credit for her. Ella, happy anniversary, by the way, again, because I have to say it, because I love, who doesn't love an Ella, right? Got him. I loved you and Rowan got out into the, the wild, the wild of the world. Okay, so we're just spreading this enough to cover. Two pounds of strawberries is going to cook down really small. So it's not, I mean, two pounds sounds like a lot, guys, but it's really not a lot. I'm taking all of this off. Jerry's not in here to yell at me because he yells at me when I do this because anything sharp and Cheryl together is a horrible combination. Then we're going to peek at that whip again. <laughs> and we're going to make sure it hasn't deflated. Because we don't want it deflating. Okay, let's move that. Again, not licking. Not licking. Because I'm sure it's amazing. I'm sure that peanut butter smells so good. 
There's a lot left in here, so we're going to get that all at the bottom. And then as soon as the strawberries are done, we're going to put it in here. I'm not sure. I usually start everything off at a half hour, and then I add time from there. So the crust is in here. It's making me happy because I don't want Jerry to be always filled with bad food right? Got to take care of the people. This could be for the kids. The kids could think that they're having something so bad. You could give it to them for breakfast, right? It could be a breakfast food. Seriously. It's like Cheryl's version of a peanut butter and jelly pop tart slash cookie slash whatever. Okay. So let's just get that back in there. Okay, and then when the strawberries are done and they're all macerated and cooked down, I am going to do another part of the video, but I'll do it on YouTube so I could share it with you guys. And then I'm going to try and write this down before my ever-loving small brain forgets. But there you go. So there's the crust. It's not very thick. It looks pretty amazing. Oh, excuse me. Let's check on these strawberries. They're boiling, so it looks good. Let's peek at this again. Let's just look at it one more time. Ah, it looks so beautiful. Oh, I got to get another spoon. Okay, it was sitting over there for about 15 minutes. It still looks good. I like it because the texture has a little bit of the crunchiness from the um, monk fruit. It's amazing. I might let it whip a little bit more. Y'all got to try this. You got to try it. That is ridiculous. I just want to show you with that. Look at that. That could be frosting. You could pipe it onto a brownie, a cookie. You could put it in your coffee. I'm going to put it in. You know, it just, everything falls. Everything falls. I am going to give it a little more of a whip. And I will do that after. But I hope you guys got a little inspiration to make things yourselves. If you saw something and you were like, oh man, that sounds so good. I think I want to make that then create it. Think about it. You know, think about your family. Do we want to give them, I know, Jerry loves this stuff. Do we want to give them always, I could have made the peanut butter and oat with this. I could have used this. There is so much sugar in this thing, but Jerry loves it, right? So I can't take everything away, but I could make him something so super yummy that will satiate his palate and make him feel like he's having something bad. Hmm. So I decided that's where it came from. I was talking to a lady the other day and I thought what better way to give him something. I just spit. Good thing y'all ain't here. To give him something that is going to help him. So oats, peanut butter, monk fruit, then just strawberries. Gonna cook it in the oven together and we'll start it off with a half hour. So once those strawberries are done, piping hot, I'm gonna put it right on there, right in the oven, 350 degrees. I don't think I've ever changed the temperature. And uh, we'll start it for like 30 minutes, see how it goes. The strawberries in my mind are going to become a little more like a gelatin, but I'm not adding cornstarch. I don't want to do anything. I want to try and keep foods as simple and as wholesome as they could be so you can do that for your family too. And remember, the more healing your body is with the foods that you put in it, people that have multiple sclerosis, people that have like me, autoimmune, um, arthritis, 
spinal damage. As we get older, we have all this and some of us have had it from a kid. So I'm so excited to share these things with you and every time I get an inspiration, I bring it to you guys first because y'all, this is my test kitchen. This is it. Now I try out recipes, I like them, I throw them on my blog. I forgot to put Anna Banana bread on there, but that was amazing too. So that's it. The strawberries are boiling and I'm going to go tend to those and I hope you guys have an amazing day in here in Connecticut it is about 75 degrees a little too warm now for me because I getting a little glistening a little glistening but I love you guys and I will talk to you later I can't wait to show you when they're done